What's up, Woodworking Nation, and welcome to Armor of God Woodworks. Man, we are on site today doing something really cool, and we've had several questions about how we mount our mantles, and they're just floating up there. Um, so today, we're going to do a walkthrough video about how we mount our mantles. So what we've got here is we've got this big one. It's, it's almost nine feet long, um, and so it's, uh, it's four and three quarters by 12, roughly, um, and it's a, it was a rough sewn beam. Now, you notice this part right here is is really dark and so this is a this is a pine beam and whenever we got it it had been outside but it had been under a shelter and so it had kind of you know taken on the effects of just not being like out in the weather but it had been it kind of exposed the sunlight a lot and it wasn't like covered where it should you know it should have been covered like in a barn or something but it was just in a wide open shelter so what we had to do is we had to take it back to the shop and we planed it down um, about a quarter inch on each side. And that way we were able to get down into the white meat of this pine and make it match the rest of this building. Um, we've got rough cut cypress beams in the top and cypress boards all around. And so we had to make this mantle match the cypress. Pine and cypress look a lot alike. Can't really tell the difference. Um, and this was purchased by the homeowner, not by me. So, you know, that's why it might be a different species. But nonetheless, um, it, you came here to watch me mount a mantle, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so the way that we do it is, first of all, we've got to figure out where our mantle is gonna mount. So we've got it where it's gonna mount to the fireplace, and I'll show you that in just a minute, uh, but I wanna show you how we do this right here. So we mark the center of where it all is gonna go, and then we put our hanger bolts into the wood. Um, make sure you find a stud. If you don't find a stud, this is gonna be horrible. So just make sure you get a stud. This thing is pretty heavy, um, and you wanna make sure you got all the support you can get. Um, so the second thing you have to do is you have to drill a perfectly plumb hole. Um, how do you do that? If you're freehanding with a drill, it's going to be a lot harder to do that. I have done it before, um, but it's just kind of aggravating. So what we have is we have a mobile drill press that just hooks onto our drill and really simple to work. Um, it's made by Milescraft. Uh, I think they have these at Lowe's. I think I bought this off of Amazon um, about 50 bucks or something like that. And so what it does, it's got a flat base. It's got all kind of different angles on it um, that you can rotate the base to, you know, if you're going 45 or however you need to drill your hole. We always drill ours in 90 because that's what we got to have. Um, this will reach in about five inches into this beam, which is way plenty. And so we cut our uh, hanger bolts off to five inches also. And so you have to mark, you mark the center of the beam lengthwise. Um, so whatever half of it is, and then you measure how far apart your bolts are, and that's where you mark the, the holes that will drill into, into the mantle. Um, get all those marked where you need them, double check them, triple check them. Um, you don't wanna mess this up. You usually got one shot with a mantle, and so you wanna make sure that it's a, you know, just a one shot deal, and you're not up here trying to figure out how you're gonna you know, re-drill a hole and all that stuff. And you always wanna make sure you dry fit before you start hanging this thing. You wanna make sure that it slides right onto the bolts, so if you need to make any adjustments, you can do it before you put any adhesive in. So let's get up on this thing. I got two holes to drill and I'll show you how we do it. We drill it first with the drill press and then we'll take it all apart and I'll continue my hole down just with the drill because um, this won't let me get down but about three and I got to be in there five. So let's get these holes drilled out. So that's got stage one done.
And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this drill bit out of here, put it back into the drill so that we can continue drilling our hole down. And so this, it comes with this little key. Works just like a, just like a regular drill press. And this is really neat. I mean, it, you know, I, I was kind of apprehensive about getting it. First of all, because it was so cheap. Uh, Rockler's got one just like it. It's about two or 300 bucks. Um, so I was kind of leery about getting it. But this Milescraft stuff is, I mean, it's, it's decent. It's really good. The bits we use are Diablo. This is a Diablo three quarter and you can see it's got the threaded tip on it so it'll pull the drill bit down in there and it does a really good job cleaning. Um, when you're, especially when you're doing pine because there's a lot of heart down, down in this hole. There's a pile of just sap wood down in there. You wanna make sure you got a drill bit that'll pull down into that wood because if you don't, it's just gonna bind up and it's gonna leave you a dang mess. Um, so make sure if you don't use Diablos, use something similar, um, but we just had a lot of luck with these. Now what we're gonna do is I need to be in there five. So I'm gonna double check, I got to get it a little bit out like that. Tighten the drill down real good. Make sure we're going in there far enough, just right. <clears throat> now, whenever you, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put epoxy in this hole. We use a five minute epoxy, it's 1500 PSI. That's all you need to hold this on there. Um, we put these mantles up all the time, 1500 PSI is plenty. And so you wanna have just a little bit more depth in your hole than your bolt is long. That way you can have somewhere for the adhesive to go as it pushes in there. And it'll go to the end and just, it'll suck it back over that bolt and hold it in there. Our bolts have threads on them so that that adhesive will grab those threads and it'll help it hold a lot better. You don't want to put like a slick rod in there. You want to make sure it's got some kind of, you know, some kind of thread on it to catch that adhesive just to hold it in there a little bit better. Let's get these holes drilled and we'll do a dry fit. All right, so the next thing you wanna do after you drill your hole is you wanna come over here to the fireplace and you can see where we got our bolts mounted in here. Now what these are, are half inch by 10 inch lag bolts. And we put them in there with a socket and we just use just a regular old ratchet. You can use a drill or whatever. <coughs> I prefer to use the ratchet, just so you got a little bit more control over it and it doesn't spin out if you hit something in there. You'll be able to tell if you need to change up and you know move your, move your bolt somewhere. But, we use a half inch by 10. We put our three quarter inch hole in there. And that gives me somewhere for all that epoxy that we're gonna put inside that hole to expand. So what we do is we measure from the wall out five inches. And so that's, we cut it off. We cut the head off with an angle grinder and a cutoff wheel. So the next step you gotta do is you wanna bring your mantle over here and you gotta make sure that that thing's gonna mount up there before you put any adhesive in there. If you put the adhesive in there and your holes don't line up, you gonna have a mess. You're gonna have to wait for it all to dry. Then you have to re-drill it somewhere else and it's just gonna make a dang mess. So you wanna make sure that you dry fit this thing and make sure that it's snugging up to the wall and it fits just like you want it before you do adhesive. Let's check that out and make sure all this stuff fits like it's supposed to. Just like that. So now we know that our holes are lined up. We can go over there and mix some epoxy, put it in the holes, and we got to take this thing off first, obviously. But then we'll make our epoxy up, stick it down in the holes, and uh, we'll carry you along while we do that. So let me get my camera readjusted and we'll mix that epoxy up real quick. All right, so what we got is this DevCon five minute epoxy, it's 1500 PSI. And we got our mantle taken back down. And all you want to do is just squeeze this out. It's all in equal parts. Um, I prefer the kind that you can get that's got the mixing tube in it. But we didn't have that option today. So we kind of had to do what we got to do. But you just want to make sure that you get this stuff and mix it up really well. Um, and you can tell when you've got it mixed, it'll start kind of changing colors. But you just want to give it a good, a real good mixing. Um, and it'll turn like a, it'll be like a cloudy, it'll be real cloudy once you get it mixed like it's supposed to be. 
And then all you have to do is just push it down and hold. Now we've got five minutes to work with this stuff, which is plenty of time. And um, you know, you want to make sure that you got all that you need to get this thing done. Take your time with it. You got five minutes, no big deal. Get it all mixed up. This just doesn't get a good mix, you're not gonna get a very solid hole. Then we just come over here and just put it down in the hole. Once you do that, pick it up, put it back up on the bolts. Make sure it goes all the way back to the wall. Now we're out on brick, so we got to make sure that you know everything is level like it's supposed to be. This was kind of tilting a little bit, so we put some wedges under there. All right, so that's pretty much it. We got our stud in there in the middle just to hold it up since, you know, I, I'm going to leave it here and let it set overnight. Um, I know it'll be set in five minutes. I might check before we leave just to make sure. But that's pretty much it, man. That's how you hang a mantle. Um, if you got any questions, leave your comments below. Uh, like and subscribe to Armor God Woodworks. And stick around, man. We do a lot of cool stuff and have a lot of cool projects going on all the time. So stick around and hit that notification bell so that way whenever we go on you can see what we're posting. Um, Y'all have a blessed day and we'll catch you on the other side.